Hey guys! Today I'm going to review In the Heat of the Night. They call me Mr. Tibbs. Mr. Tibbs! In the Heat of the Night came out in 1967 and is an American neo-noir mystery drama film. It's based on the 1965 novel by John Ball and the film stars Sidney Pottier and Rod Steiger. It was directed by Norman Jewardson and the screenplay was by Sterling Siliphant. Music by Quincy Jones. It runs 110 minutes and cost 2 million to make. It was a big success at the box office and made back 24.4 million. It was nominated for 7 Academy Awards and won 5 of them including Best Picture and Best Actor for Rod Steiger. The film had two sequels, The Call Me Mr. Tibbs in 1970 and The Organization in 1971. It also spawned a successful TV series from 1988 to 1995. This lasted for seven seasons, 142 episodes and four TV movies. In the Heat of the Night stars Sidney Poitier, Rod Steiger, Warren Oates, Lee Grant. So this film's a mystery film, I'll not reveal any spoilers. It's about an African-American detective called Virgil Tibbs who investigates the death of a businessman in Mississippi and comes face to face with racism in the southern United States in the process of investigation. So he meets a police officer played by Rod Steiger and there's a load of tension between them. He's kind of racist and he doesn't like the idea of this black guy investigating this murder that's happening and being more intelligent than all, the, all of his officers and him. However, by the end of the film, they both become friends and respect each other. So 1967 was one of the best years for Sidney Poitier. He starred in this film, as well as To Sir We Love, which I reviewed on the channel, and another film called Guess Who's Coming for Dinner, all in 1967 and all successful. So he was kind of like the first major black actor who, who became a star, and it won five Academy Awards, which was quite amazing. And 1967 was kind of like a turning point for cinema. The films were nominated in the awards ceremony of that year, they were all more realistic based, so it was very much a turning point. And this film has a gritty, more realistic look than usual. And this film's more about people's attitudes towards racism. It's That's more important than the actual mystery of the film. The actual murder mystery is a bit disappointing, actually. So it's more of a drama storyline. And Sidney Poitier's performance in this is great. It's a subtle performance. You can tell a lot just by looking at his eyes. Like there's scenes where he doesn't actually say much, but you still know what he's thinking. Even when he's examining bodies, doing forensics, the use of his hands where he's examining dead bodies. It's, it's very authentic. And his detective work in this film is very intelligent. Checking the pedals of a car and finding out what was on the person's foot when he was driving the car. So it's a great performance. And it's interesting how his character and Rod Steiger's character, the totally opposite to each other. Rod Steiger gives a, a sweaty, starey performance. Very OTT. He loses his head a lot. Hey, Phil! That's that bug of all them tattoos in that film. Yes, Bones, the illustrated man from 1969. That's one of my favourite films. He was excellent in that. Whereas Sidney Poitier's character is very calm and collected and, and sophisticated. The film's also famous for a, a slap where this white character slaps Poitier's character across the face and he responds by slapping them back. And that was kind of like Green shocking at last. the time that a black guy would slap a white man. So it's one of the most famous slaps in cinema history. He slapping that bloody fella. Does he think he's fucking Will Smith? There's also a famous line where he says, they call me Mr. Tibbs. And, and that's the title of the next film in the series, the second film. So both the characters are very opposite to each other. And yet at the same time, they find similarities. So Virgil Tibbs, he sort of like reveals in one scene that he's wanting to solve the crime. He's almost wanting to rub it into the, the white men's faces that, that a black man solved the crime. And Rod Steiger's character realises they've got a little bit in common. 
No, because you're so damn smart. You're smarter than any white man. You're just going to stay here and show us all. You got such a big head that you could never live with yourself unless you could put us all to shame. There's also some strong language in this film. The use of the N-words used a lot. There's loads of racism. There's also a gang assault where I was on edge watching it. I thought they were actually going to beat Virgil Tibbs up. But Rod Steiger's character saves the day. He comes just before they're going to beat him up. And Steiger's performance is excellent in this film. One of my favourite scenes is where they both spend the night at A's house. And Steiger's character confesses that <laughs> no one ever visits him. He's a lonely man. An audience feels sympathy for him at that moment, although it ends up in an argument. But I thought it was a great scene, very well played. Now look, I got no wife, I got no kids. Boy, I got a town that don't want me. I'll tell you a secret. Nobody comes here. Never. So the film's directed in a very realistic way. It's very gritty. From the very first shot, you see Sidney Poitier's character getting off the train, but you don't see his face, you just see his hands. And the final shot's also a train, him going back on the train to go home. There's a great shot of the train going away, and it zooms in on the carriage where he's sat, and then pulls back. So I, th I thought that was a great shot to end, end the film on. I also liked the final scene when Sidney Poitier's character's boarding the train, and Steiger's character comes up to him and, and genuinely cares take about care. them. He says, take yeah. care, and Poitier's character smiles, and Steiger's character smiles back. That, like, shows that they both got respect for each other right at the end of the film. I thought that was really nice, nice heartwarming scene to end the film on. However, the film's not well, it's bad points. I don't like the score of this film. I think it's very distracting. I wish they'd have used a different sort of score, a more traditional type. And the mystery of the film was a bit poor. Didn't involve the audience much. So, but I still think it's a great film with some terrific performances. However, it is a little bit dated now, and a bit slightly overrated, so out of 10, I think I'd give this one 8. 8 out of 10. But the good thing goes to be like it. I thought it was an excellent film, Phil. This proves that they were addressing racism long before these bloody woke buggers. So Sidney Poitier did two more films after this. They called me Mr. Tibbs from 1970. And the organisation from 1971. So I'll review them two films sometime on the channel. And then I'll rate the three films. See which ones I like best in order. Anyway I hope you enjoyed the review. Like, subscribe and share. Bye everyone. Bye. Oh, wow! Wow! It's a fucking disgrace.